afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. We are back and better than ever. And maybe you're downhearted a little bit. Maybe a little bit. You need a little pick-me-up. I've got the remedy for you. If this is insanity, why are you my clarity? We have the solution to your problems. We're going to do some mathematics, some trigonometry, some problem solving with the sine and cosine rule. Let's get right to it. So we have two long straight roads intersect at P at an angle of 53 degrees. So I am drawing that right away. So 53 degrees, I don't know, maybe it looks something like that. Okay, so this is P and this is 53 degrees. Okay, so I've taken care of that right there. Starting at P, a cyclist A rides for 16.2 mile, kilometers sorry, along one of the roads. So let's, let's just say it's this one, 16.2. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Along one of the roads. While cyclist B rides 18.9 kilometers along the other road. Okay. So cyclist B is going to ride 18.9 kilometers. Okay. So let's just say that from here to here represents 16.2, and from here to here represents 18.9. How far apart are the cyclists now? Okay, so they're, they're here. This is A, and this is B here, right? So we want to know how far apart are they. So we'll call this um, X or whatever, okay? Um, so, and this is 53 degrees, which we already know. So you might think, oh man, I'll just use the law of sine. So I could say X over sine of 53 degrees is equal to, because it's um, the length over the sine of the angle opposite of it, equals maybe 16.2 over the sine of angle B, but I don't know angle B. And same thing here, 18.9 over the sine of angle A. Well, I don't know that, okay? But I do have an angle and the sides that form that angle, and I can always use the law of cosines um, to do that. So let's just say um, C, let's call this little c. That'll make it easier. C squared is going to equal A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of C. Now you have to see the pattern here, like I said in the original video. C corresponds to, little c corresponds to the angle opposite it. So I know this angle and I need this length, so that's what I'm going to use. C squared is going to be equal to, so I've already taken care of this. Now it's the other two sides. It doesn't really matter which one's A or B. I just happened to use the letters A and B because that's what they used in the problem here. It could have very well been X and Y. It's just the other two sides. So this is going to be 18.9 squared um, plus 16.2 squared minus 2 times 18.9 times 16.2 times the cosine of 53 degrees. Okay, so that means C is equal to the square root of all that. And I'm not going to simplify any of it because I know I'm going to put it right in my calculator. 18.9 squared plus 16.2 squared minus 2 times 18.9 times 16.2 times the cosine of 53 degrees. So there we go. So let's go to our calculator. I'm using Desmos. So it's going to be the square. Well, I better make sure I'm in degrees, first of all. Put it in degrees, OK? So square root, here's a square root symbol of 16.9 and then squared plus um, 18 point, was it 18.3? I'm the worst. Oh, it's 16.2 and 18.9. So 16.2 squared and 18.9 squared. Once you have these, it's easy. Minus 2 uh, times 
16.2, those same numbers, times 18.9, multiplied by the cosine, and I just have to put in cosine of 53 degrees. And I hit um, return, and I get 15.8 is what it looks like it's going to round to. So we have our solution, C. Let's see, C is equal to 15.8 kilometers. And so we're done with that one. Very simple, very easy. Okay. One more example, and we'll leave you alone. A roadway is horizontal for 524 meters from A to B. So that's right here. Okay. Followed by a 23 degree incline. So we have a road, and then you start going up a hill, and it's going up at 23 degrees. You can see that right here. 786 meters long from B to C. So that's from here to here. Okay, 786 meters. They have that labeled. How far is it directly from A to C? Okay. All right, so let's think about this. Okay, so I've got this triangle here. Okay, and I'm looking for uh, from A to C. So that would be little B, I'm going to call it, because it's opposite angle B. Take a look at triangle ABC there. Okay, so I have side AB is 524, and side BC is 786. Okay, so if I had an angle in here, I would be great. Well, don't I know that this angle right here is equal to 180 degrees because it's a straight line? And I know that part of it is 23 degrees. So angle ABC is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 23 degrees, which is equal to 157 degrees. Well, this is fabulous. And instead of erasing and trying to uh, squeeze everything in there, I'm just going to do a quick sketch of the triangle as it looks as best I can. Okay, and so this is A, this is 524, this is B, uh, and this is C, which is 786, and I found the measure of angle ABC to be 157 degrees, so this is 157 degrees. So I'm looking for little b, the distance from A to C. And again, I'm not going to be able to use the law of cosines because I don't know an angle, the measure of the angle opposite the 524, angle C or the angle of the measure, um, uh, the measure of angle A, which is opposite 786. So I'm going to use the law of cosines, and I'm looking for little b. Well, b squared is equal to the other two sides, a squared plus c squared, minus 2 multiplied by those same sides. So 2 times a times c times the cosine of the angle opposite the first uh, variable. So that's going to be angle B. So B squared would equal 786 squared plus 524 squared minus 2 times 786 times 524 times the cosine of 157 degrees. So that means B would equal the square root of all that. So that's the square root of 786 squared plus 524 squared minus 2 times 786 times 524 times the cosine of 157 degrees. So I'm going to go to Desmos. Hopefully I'll remember 786, 524. 786, 524. So 786 squared, so 786 squared plus, oh, I hope it's 520, oh crap, I don't remember, I'm horrible, 524, so 524 squared, oops, it's not under the square root, make sure it stays under there, plus, so, plus 524 good, squared minus 2 times 
times 786 times 524 times the cosine of, and I think that was 157. Ooh, I got that right, Jackson. Cosine, get back in there. Cosine of 157. Enter. And that comes out to 1,284.8, and I think it was kilometers, 1,284.8 meters. So B is equal to 1,284.8 meters. Let me verify that was the case. 1,284.8. Yep. Okay, and there we go. That's the distance between A and C. All right, so that is it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Let's go back to the Primitive Radio Gods, see how they're doing as we sign, sign out. And thank you. Hopefully that uh, you've been, uh, you've been in, in, enriched and uh, you've loved every second of it like I have. I am out!